everyone and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Ferrero Rocher brownie. Now for Father's Day I've got a little tub of these. My wife calls these Shara Rocher, just so you can feed them off me. Um, they're Ferrero Rochers and we're going to show you how to make a brownie with them. They're also going to be gluten free, which is an added bonus if you don't like gluten. Um, so what we got ingredient wise? We have got four ingredients, so it's really complex. We've got Nutella, which is essentially what's in the centre of one of these. We've got some hazelnuts, which again is in the centre of one of these. We've got two eggs and we've got a cup of self-raising gluten-free flour. That is it. So, how are we going to make these? It's going to be complex stuff. We're going to put in our flour. We're going to put in our two eggs. So we're going to take our hazelnuts, whack them in your blender. Hazelnut. Starts to smell like Ferrero Rocher anyway. So that can go straight in. So you've got your chopped nuts and you've got your Nutella. Now, this is usually quite hard, so stick it in a bowl of hot water, or if you've got a microwave, we don't use them, but if you can, 20 seconds in the microwave comes out a lot, lot easier. So you can undo the lid, you can almost pour this in. So I'm gonna use about five or six tablespoons of Nutella, which is quite a good amount. As I say, this is a treat. Don't eat all the brownie. Have a section of brownie. Share it with the family, give it to the kids. Don't eat all the brownie. Mix it up. So the reason why we heat that Nutella up is that then it doesn't all stick together. You can get it all together, nice and sloppy. Put a dash of hot water into your Nutella. Just pour that in. So just keep stirring that. It'll be really, really thick at first, but that hot water will just slightly melt it down and just give it enough consistency to go smooth. That's what you're looking for. Oven up to 180 Celsius. So that is the consistency you're looking for. What's not to love there? Get yourself a bowl, bit of grease proof paper over the top. They can use coconut oil in here or just a little bit of butter just so it doesn't stick. Coconut oil, all the way around the edge of the pan. Once you've got that sorted, all you're going to do is pour your mix in, all over. Give your paper a little shuffle round. Make sure that's all level. Into the oven for about 25 minutes. So that's been 25 minutes, let's get that out of the oven. Smells exactly like a Ferrero Rocher. Put your tray over the top, lift it, and flip it over. And I should be able to flip that over again. Just press that down. Now, obviously, you should let that cool down first of all. But I'm not going to do that because I really want to try it. So I'm just going to cut this one open. I'm going to do a light slice down the middle. Just pull that open. And another piece just off the side. I'm just going to snap a piece of that off. And that is incredible. You can really taste the nuts in there, the chocolate, the Nutella. And I can't stop eating it. Mm. So there we go, there's my gluten-free Ferrero Rocher cake. Hopefully you recreate this one. If you do, copy me in at Instagram, Haste Kitchen. Now please go to my new website. It's live, www.hastekitchen.com. Um, it's got all my featured recipes on there. It's got bits that I blog about. It's all live. It's all interactive. You can get it on your phone. You can subscribe to it and get a monthly newsletter. But please do. Tell everyone about the channel. And I'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye-bye. <laughs>